Hey, hi there, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'm thanking you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your monthly reading, June 2019, for love. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, this is a condensed, predictive general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out that description box below. There is a free birth chart calculator at the bottom. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Cancer. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Queen of Pentacles, Cancer. This is an Earth Energy Woman. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This is someone that's domestic. And it's like they're privileged. They're generous and they're benevolent. And they're regal. And they respect money as a tool, but they do not worship it. She wants tangible results from the money she distributes. This can indicate security. This can be a mother. This can also tell us that there's harvest coming in after much labor. This is prudent uses of resources. This is a person they're protective and nurturing and resourceful. They're bountiful and they're down to earth. They're fertile and healthy and they're a homemaker. They love gardens and growing things. Fertility is represented here. As you can see there's a little rabbit in the right hand corner. This is someone that's affectionate and caring and they know how to manage money. She's clever and they enjoy gossip. They love the good things in life and having acquired them, they're content to spend their life enjoying them. And they're satisfied when they get what they want. This can indicate help given of a practical nature. And they let us know that what is cherished must be cared for. This is a person that puts high value on stability. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. The Ten of Pentacles, Cancer. More Earth energy, and this is a stable card. This has to do with your ancestors and your home, and legacy. Could be an inheritance or a settlement. It's a solid and secure life. This represents your home and family. This could be a monetary gain. It's increased stability and enjoying the fruits of labor. This can be a house or a dwelling. It does represent security and material comfort, wealth and social standing. There's permanence here and wisdom and physical security. This could be a successful financial venture or inheritance or a settlement that will provide for those concerned or a very special partnership. The King of Pentacles is also in this reading, which is a divine union I tried to come out in the pre-reading, too, and I had a feeling it was going to show up, and he did. This is a card of traditions. This can even be a holiday celebration. This is long-term stability. And if you have a question how things should be done, well, then look back to the way your elders would have done it. This card symbolizes financial stability and firm foundations for home and family life. This can also indicate a property being quote, acquired. It could be passed down in the generations. This is a materially settled way of life. This is an envisioned goal that's been reached and there's had to be discipline. This is someone who's gratified and they're grateful they can share their wealth and abundance with those that they love. It's a deeply rooted connection. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. It's your attitude. The Six of Cups, Cancer. Water energy, which is your element. This is affection and happy memories. It's looking back and nostalgia. It's receiving a gift, so be open for nurturing. This is an emotional conversation connected to your past that will shed light on your future. 
These are childhood memories and innocence and friendliness. And you can brighten the day of another with a small gesture of kindness. This is becoming childlike again and resolving bad childhood experiences by returning to a childlike openness and joy. And you can take an opportunity as it presents itself to cast off old feelings and fulfill important wishes. This is a blooming spiritual experience. It could be a meeting with an old friend or an old lover. Something with roots in the past may be reconsidered and that past efforts may be present or future rewards. It could be thoughts of a past love that are still haunting. And if the relationship has ended, you're better off for it. But if the relationship is still going, it means there's a deeper commitment. This is love and harmony and enjoying safety and security. It's things that are done from the heart and surprise gifts. It's someone that's being sweet and charming and kind. They're tender and sentimental. They're childlike and protective. They're playful and spontaneous. You might be doing things like offering or accepting gifts or compliments, fondly reminiscing, or giving the benefit of the doubt. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Here's that king of pentacles, earth energy. This represents security. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Sun, moon, or rising. This is a wealthy, mature man. They're a benefactor. They can be an investor who will profit from you sometime in the future, like a boss. They're a dependable, solid citizen, and there's kindness to others. This is you or someone around you could aspire to great wealth. This could be a father or a boss, someone who's fatherly that's surrounding you. They're a man who loves money and riches, and they're happy to collect as much as possible. And they're very clever in business and financial matters. They're a financial wizard, and they're not corrupt. They earn money through hard and patient effort and not through unworthy or dishonest business dealings. And he's generous with what he has and he shares gladly. And the lesson here is to be content with what you have and express your needs and undertake what is necessary for their fulfillment. You might want to avoid letting your self-esteem become dependent on your money or dependent on the outside opinion of the world. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Queen of Cups, Cancer. Well, this is you. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is someone that's emotional and they're loving. They're a dreamer and they're empathetic. They could be very well be psychic. This is one of the most powerful of the minor arcana cards. Her power and accomplishments are rooted in love. This is a romantic woman with intuition, a good wife and mother, and she's more integrated into society than the king. She sits firmly on the land, a symbol of her connection with the real world and of other people around her. And at the same time, water flows into her dress, denoting she does not repress her emotions. She's beautiful and fair and dreamy, and she contemplates a cup. And one of her aspects is she can see visions in a cup, yet she also acts and her activity feeds her dream. She's creative with a strong will that enables her to develop her talents, and she draws inspiration from her own life and from the world around her, and she is capable of deep romantic love, and she leads with her heart and not her head. Success and happiness and pleasure are indicated. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck, the Sacred Traveler, by Denise Lynn. Cancer, you've got fellow travelers. Oh yeah, and you've got two queens in your layout, which represents sincere friends. So you've got uh, fellow travelers, and support is all around you. So Cancer, be open to support and help from others. You don't need to do it all alone. Sometimes that support comes from someone you'd least expect. If someone offers you help, accept it. Trust that your life is guided. Unseen spirit travelers are helping you. Know that you are so very loved 
in ways that you may not always directly experience. Sharing the journey means that there is support all around you. Blessings from above are showering over your life. You are safe. Angels and spirit guides are real, and their presence is near, and they're only a thought away. There are messages from the Creator, and they all come with immense blessings and love. All is well. And the Sacred Traveler wants you to know that fellow travelers are guiding and supporting you, and they love you deeply and profoundly. Be still and open your heart to their messages and healing. They will come to you in soft breezes, rainbows, and feathers that seem to magically appear. Sometimes they will come in the form of a stranger with a message. These signs let you know that you're going in the right direction and that all is unfolding exactly as it should. Messengers from the Creator can come with immense blessings and love. Be open to receive love from others. You are a healing, f loving force for others. And I, I got a new deck for Mother's Day from my son. He's a Taurus sun and a Taurus moon, and he's very sweet and loving. This deck is Animal Messages. Seek Inspiration from Your Animal Guides by Susie Green. And you've got Tortoise Cancer. Can you see that? Tortoise. When changes are made for the sake of change itself, resist. Older than the dinosaur, embodiment of ancient wisdom and living testament to the wonder of her form, unchanging tortoise plods on through time. Like tortoise, resist change for novelty's sake. Be true to your way of living, your partner, and your creativity, lest you destroy something more wonderful than you yet know. Tortoise also counsels construction and mental carapace to protect yourself from the unjustified criticisms of others. For as tortoise's hatchlings emerge from their shells, perfect, you too were born flawless. Here's your take note moment. Our highest power is love, and it is one thing each one of us has an unlimited amount of. How much love do you give to others in one day? Each day we have an opportunity to set out with this great unlimited power in our possession and pour it over every person and circumstance. Love is appreciating, complimenting, feeling gratitude, and speaking good words to others. We have so much love to give, and the more that we give, the more we receive. Thanks, you guys, Cancer. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so here I go. I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. I hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching.